Hi guys, I'm Shrek. Welcome back. Today I'm going to just do a really quick video about the longevity and use of this Winwing Orion that I have here, the throttle. There's been some questions about the durability of those wires, and I'd just like to cover that in this video really quick. Okay, so as you can see, the wires have kind of stretched out a little bit. They do not become taut anymore. Uh, they have stretched out, or I think it's just been pulled out of the casing grommet here a little bit, so it's not as tight anymore that or the cable is very stretchy so you can see in full back it's it's not taut anymore and then if i go to full afterburn it does get compressed a little bit okay so i'm doing the best i can to give you a good angle here you can see it is not completely pinched when it goes full forward there is some room to curl around when it goes that direction now if it's trying to kind of come around the other way like the left side here just a little bit it does get a little bit pinched but I haven't had any issues yet and I'll get you an angle of the left side here in a sec okay so I've got a little bit of a better angle showing this throttle in full forward flexion you can see the wire is just doing a little funky thing here the rubber casing on the wire is, is a little crimped i'm not sure what the wire is doing underneath it but it's held up just fine i've had no issues no failures with this thing this thing's a pleasure to use and it's really really holding up to a lot of use the buttons and switches i'd say probably the only switch that seems to be a little bit different after a lot of use is the flaps button so this is the really the only button i've i've kind of felt a little bit of a difference over time is this flaps button it still clicks wonderfully. It's just very easy to flick. Whereas some of these other ones are a bit heftier. It's still a great switch. No issues, no failures. It feels good. It's, I've just noticed it get a little bit lighter to the touch. Okay, so since the original video was published on June 18th of 2021, this is about a seven month review of the longevity. And as you can see, the wires are working fine. Everything's working fine. It does get a little pinched here. One thing I have noticed though, is the friction here, which is adjustable. It's very smooth. There's almost no difference when you're trying to break it free, but you can see here, I'm just trying to break it free and it's, you can see it gives a little bit. It wasn't quite as noticeable doing that when it was brand new. So it's gotten a little bit, just that break free friction. And I'm obviously doing a very weird test with just my fingers. You're not going to really fly like this, but it's almost unnoticeable when you're actually flying with it. It's very smooth. It's easy to make micro adjustments, but uh, just that little bit of friction. And like I said, you, it is adjustable. So you can still play around with it, but having adjusted it and left it and not continually adjusting it, I've noticed it just get a little bit stickier right at the beginning. Nothing like the old joystick and throttle. This is still very smooth, but there, there is a little bit of noticed wear at the seven month period. Again, this thing's holding up wonderfully. I have no complaints. Like I said, these wires used to be at full tension. I think the grommets have loosened and pulled out a little bit or the wires have stretched or both because they're not taut anymore. And at full afterburner, there is a little bit of room for the wires to coil. They kind of crimp a little bit. It's holding up just fine. There's no failures. Hope that helps with the update. Some of you had questions about it being half a year later. So uh, there it is. I'm still very happy with this purchase. And in full disclosure, I have received nothing from Winwing to do these reviews. I'm just doing this on my own time with my own money because I'm a hobbyist and I enjoy this stuff. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comments and like and subscribe. Thank you. I'm Shrek. I'll see you next time.